Hi, I'm Todd Turnquist with McNaught McKay. Today you will be learning about Integrated Architecture Builder. Integrated Architecture Builder, or IAB, is a free configuration tool from Rockwell that allows you to configure your Rockwell automation control systems. In it, you can do a lot of things. Configure new controllers, migrate legacy controllers such as PLC5s or SLICs, design networks, configure plant packs process systems, evaluate network capacity, and select software. That's a lot of stuff. But keep in mind, IAB is a tool in your toolbox. So I want to keep it simple for you and give you a primer here. What you're typically looking for is a bill of materials, right? You are wanting a list that includes all the piece parts you need and ensure that you haven't left out that end cap or terminal base or field power distribution block that you didn't even know you needed. IAB can catch all of that. To that end, there are two ways you can use IAB. If you're new to Rockwell or not that familiar with the various platforms, you can use the wizards. IAB takes you step by step through the process of configuring your system. If you're an experienced Rockwell user, you can use what I call the brute force method. Just let me pick the parts. In both cases, the end result is that bill of materials that you're looking for. When you first open IAB, it opens up in the wizard view. You'll notice this ribbon across the top that is icons for the various platforms. If you don't know which one is best suited for your application, you can select the Project Design Assistant. It allows you to compare different solutions. In our example, we're going to build a control logic system. In the wizard, it's going to step us through a series of windows to define our preferences for the chassis and network and then populate the various I.O. options. On the last page of the wizard, it summarizes the data we have entered and provides a default listing of suggested I.O. modules. You also have the option to change modules. In this case, we'll change the controller to an L81E. Once any changes are done, we select Finish and generate the system. Navigate over to the Hardware tab in the workspace on the left side. Here you will see the chassis that we have configured. OK, that was the first way to use IAB. The second way is what I call the brute force method. I'm already familiar with the Rockwell hardware and I just want to select the parts I want. Up at the top menu bar, you'll see the heading Action. You want to select Add New Hardware. The window that opens is a list of all the possible Rockwell hardware that you can add and configure in IAB. In our case here, we're going to select a Control Logix chassis. I have to select everything, so in our example here, I'll select the 10 slot chassis. IAB generates an empty 10-slot chassis for me to populate with modules. In the lower left corner is a window, Device List, which provides all the available Control Logics modules for me to select from to build my system. The difference between the wizard and this is that I have to know what I'm looking for. Now I just go through and drag and drop modules into the chassis. So, just like the wizard, I now have a configuration. But what I'm really wanting is that bill of materials, right? Up at the top is what I call the money button. It's the icon with the dollar sign called Project Bill of Materials. Click on that and the output of this action will be the bill of materials. You'll notice the bill of materials includes a few more items than what was selected. There's module terminal blocks, chassis power supplies, and ancillary components required to make the I.O. modules work in the chassis. It also has list pricing, so you have a rough idea of what the system cost is. The final step is to export this bill of materials out to Excel for further use. Once in Excel, I can clean things up, add things, and ultimately send it over to my Rockwell distributor for quoting and purchasing. And that concludes this basic primer of IAB. Hopefully you will find this tool helpful in building your control systems. Thank you for watching this presentation. If you have any questions, please contact your local Rockwell distributor or visit us online.